City. I hope you can hear me, it's quite loud. I'm on the way to one of our partners we work with, Better Cloud. It's a tool that helps you to uh, not be lost in the cloud. They build an application. Oh, that's loud. that we stumbled upon because we wanted to make it easier to manage the different kind of tools you have like you have an administrative overlayer and it's easier to like keep security on a high level to give an overview what you guys just do right now you build a platform that manages all the different cloud tools not only G Suite and Office 365 right yeah so we started as a uh, as a tool that managed um, Google Apps now mm. G Suite um, and actually just uh, this week we announced uh, three more integrations, so Slack, uh, Zendesk, and Dropbox. And, Fantastic. And, yeah, so yeah. what our, uh, you know, our goal is is to, to help these companies, these SaaS-powered workplaces that are, that are um, leveraging SaaS applications to, um, to use, really to get out of the way of uh, yeah. the technology and let the people um, use these tools as best as possible so which is super important like from our experience you you need to focus on like what you want to achieve with these tools and many companies have a lot of hassle like putting that together and I always explain there should be like one core application that you have like in the core of the company and everything else you can manage around it and um, using a tool like your platform is then technically putting the administrative side in the core and then Leave the management to the rest. So, uh, absolutely, as I would call it, a lot of future of work in that uh, in that <laughs> tool because uh, it helps you to be more productive, right? Yeah, I mean, you think about it. Uh, a lot of companies are using SaaS applications. Each of these SaaS applications has their own administrative console. So, if you're an admin, you have to go in uh, to each of these consoles. If say you're yeah. offboarding a user, you're onboarding a user, and you have to go do these manual kind of checklists that just yeah. keep getting longer. And what we want to do is we want to get all the routine work out of the way yeah. um, so that they can, uh, you know, do the strategic, innovative, future of work uh, kind of things that yeah. need to get done. The change is happening on the top level, so mm -hmm. it's not only IT. What's happening is a lot of uh, a lot of CEOs, CIOs. It's just it's undeniable what's happening, the shift in the way yeah. um, that we work. So uh, I think a lot, of, a lot of people have kind of pushed against this future of work movement for a long time because you know, they have millions of dollars invested in, in their on-premise uh, yeah. legacy applications. And quite frankly, taking that and putting it into you know, the cloud or, or into these SaaS-powered workplaces uh, takes a lot of time, effort, and yeah. money. I just see a lot of uh, change in mindset, I think, is the main thing. When you think about the world today, uh, technology is, is a cornerstone for every business, right. and it, it has to be in order to compete today. So um, really we see, you know, we see these technology savvy CEOs, CIOs that are starting to realize that IT isn't just a cost center anymore, it's like a center for innovation, yeah. and, and in order to, to take advantage of their knowledge because obviously they're the ones that have been connected to the technology for so so many years um, these IT professionals really need a seat at the table in order to to innovate and um, you know uh, almost teach these CEOs how to uh, bring a culture of, of you know forward-thinking technology into the workplace I will make it like a review of the new platform whenever it's ready mm -hmm. and have something um, but that's like more of a tutorial video we will do that later um, what I'm more interested in, how are you guys having a future of work here? I can say from experience, I've worked in two different types of, of workplaces. I've worked in a kind of a legacy type environment and, and coming to Better Cloud and working here is it's totally different. I literally, I don't print anymore. I yeah. don't 
touch physical paper. In, in our meeting rooms, we have Chromebox for meetings, Slack uh, for internal communication, right. what gets lost, and especially with uh, just talking about Slack for a moment. It's not just a chat platform anymore. There's these applications, these SaaS applications are are being integrated together, yeah. and that's really where the power of you know the SaaS power workplace starts kind of being amplified is when you can integrate Google Drive with yeah. uh, Slack. They just made the big announcement about uh, their integration. Uh, one thing that I saw, like when I came in here, um, your head of IT was working on a Google Slides, mm -hmm. not a not a PowerPoint, and I'm always a big fan of saying if you leverage collaboration tools like do it all the way like yeah. really leverage everything so you live that yeah we're totally uh, you know bought in when it comes to the real-time collaboration right. aspect of especially Google we're actually for a lot of our uh, kind of content assets we use Google's Google slides completely to design nice. everything yeah. there's some really well designed uh, graphics and, and kind of slide share yeah. presentations. Our IT director has to manage 96, I think, uh, SaaS applications at oh, this wow. point in time. 96. So 96, so we have about 130 ish employees, so that's roughly, you know, one, <laughs> one SaaS that's, application for every I would employee. usually call that lost in the cloud with so many different tools, but since you guys built the actual tool to like keep it all together, yeah. that's how you can control it, right? You have two different uh, office locations, Atlanta and New York City. Mm -hmm. um, you have partners around the globe. So um, when I describe communication, I always have these two sides, asynchronous, like Slack, for example, mm -hmm. writing, reading, like the Google Docs, where you can almost then collaborate at mm the -hmm. same time, and then you have more synchronous communication ways. How do you guys make sure you leverage these two sides? Like, when you do what? It's funny you mentioned the, the space for the company meetings, because that was actually a very important um, kind of decision for our, our CEO. He wanted everybody to be in the same room for these monthly company meetings that we do. And, and in the past, what we had is, you know, we, we had uh, Chromebox for meetings, and but we had still people kind of separated and in different rooms. Um, but we were able to, you know, build a space, uh, have the, uh, the TV broadcasting, the Atlanta office, um, and then have all the people in New York in one room uh, to kind of give these presentations. And what you have, when you have people in Atlanta, you can still see their faces. We had a new person start on, I think this this past Wednesday. What he did, he, he was able to get on uh, Google Hangouts. He was able to, you know, give an introduction face to face. So yeah. it was a great way for for everybody. And he lives in San Francisco, so yeah. we're headquartered in New York. Our engineering team is at, in Atlanta, and he was, you know, teleconferencing in right. from San Francisco to introduce himself. And I just thought that was a prime example of how yeah. how you can get that kind of people emotional connection without With a, without being in the same space and without a super complicated video conferencing setup I mean like the hangout is uh, you have it in every room yeah. and you just click and you're there it's like nothing you need to like yeah uh, set up in a complicated way thanks a lot it was good to see you in person and uh, if there are any questions um, you can ask me you can ask Scott I would say let's grab a coffee and uh, you guys make sure you subscribe if you want more of that thanks for watching and have a great week